Just what you needed, huh? Okay. Win to win. Were you not happy with it? I was okay with it, you know. I uh, I didn't expect him to come forward so hard. Uh, I wanted to find my time and get my range and uh, had a bit of a weight cut and just trying to get my bearings in there in the clinch and figure it out. You know? I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't that wouldn't you have expected to need to do that coming back after 16 months anyways to, to need to feel things out a little bit in the first round? When I'm at my best, I wait. I find my timing. I let those those nerves naturally fall off, you know, and getting that timing, that range, understanding, and that's that's, that's, how, that's how we do it at mm -hmm. the top of the game. Leave openings when you rush forward like that. Um, it's, it's, you know, hit or miss. You know, he came forward, and... Um, I didn't expect it. I wanted to work on other things, and, and uh, he forced me to fall back with my right hook. So I clipped him a couple times and then uh, slowed him down. I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sign, I think. Hey, mama. Hey, mama. Uh, once you got, once you brought it to the ground, was there anything that were you just more confident <clears throat> once uh, you were able to get mount and get on top of him in that second round? He just felt weak in the clinch. The guy said he could wrestle, and I've seen some things that were, were laughable um, in his training videos. And so I knew I would, I knew I'd dominate him there. I wanted to, to work on the feet more, but he was just rushing forward so much into the clinch and just laying on me. So uh, once I got a hold of him, I knew I could. I, I think anybody in this sport, if I get on top of anybody, there's, they're not going to last long. Um, people want to have these jujitsu act <coughs> black belt, you know, world champions that don't really translate to MMA. They don't know how to use their hips. They engage too much with their hands and they seek like, submission finishes. There's no one better than me in grappling and in this sport. I'll smash anybody. Luke, you look great tonight. Congratulations on the win. You're coming back, uh, like you mentioned a little bit earlier, you know, after 15 months. What is the toughest part about having to do that? Uh, it's uh, it, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of bridges you got to cross. Uh, but, uh, uh, it's not my first rodeo. You know, I fought Jock Ray off 19 months off the shelf, and I'd never been out of the first round. And I, w I put in a five-round war with him and, and took that title. So, uh, visualization and, and uh, training, uh, and the right people around you—it uh, it's all comes into play. And uh, you know, you'll see why why I am where I am. Uh, Luke, obviously your eyes are set on Michael Bisping, but would there be any other fight you'd be willing to take? All that happening in, in November? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. See if that fight comes to be. Would Chris Weidman pique your interest at all? Chris Weidman's lost three in a row, uh, and and it doesn't make much sense um, at this point. I, I'd rather not uh, do that again at the moment. Luke Whitaker. Whitaker is a definite. He's a, he's a very interesting fight. Yeah. I think he's the true champion right now. Man, he fights the fights the fights that count. Uh, other than some poser up there running away with the belt. Is there any thought of moving maybe up light heavyweight? You talked about fighting Verdun before, which is an even bigger step. So, I'll, I'll, I'll fight light heavyweight. I'm, I'm, the weight cut was was rough. I'm not gonna lie. It always is uh, getting down, and, and then that's that's part of the adjustment in there. It's getting that, you know, letting my body readjust. It's uh, it's not easy. Uh, I got a little big this time. I usually don't get that big. I think I was like 206 or something going in. I'm usually like 201, 202. Uh, for some reason, I got a little a little heavy, so I did feel it out in there. Um, but I, I'd love to go to light heavyweight. I do really well in the gym, and it, it's, it's more natural for me. Um, and I think I could do things. But uh, DC is, is obviously the man right now in the division. I'm not going up until he gets out. If he goes up or if he retires, uh, you, you can damn well guarantee I'm coming up. Hey, Luke, but congrats on the Business fight. to do here first. Luke, congrats on the fight. Can you tell us, you mentioned the right people. Are you going to still be in Miami making camp? I'm not in Miami. <laughs> Staying away from Miami. Uh, I'm in uh, Fort Lauderdale up there with Henry Hooft and, and Greg Jones and Kami. Uh, the guys are amazing. Uh, great coaching staff. They're they're uh, inspiring people and and the, and the team's awesome. We went three and zero tonight. Everyone out there from the Hoof camp. Um, so guys, guys crushed it. Luke, speaking of like ring rest a little bit, it seemed like you know you're starting a little slow and you ate some shots up against the clinch, some hard punches. Do you, do you feel good knowing that you were able to take those punches and kind of knock the cobwebs off without really getting hurt or rocked? I've been fighting for fucking a long time and I've been through a lot of wars. You know, just because I got caught with a lucky shot by Michael Bisping doesn't fucking say shit about me. I've been I've taken shots. I can take them all day in the gym. 
taking them and that there's just there's unexplainable things happen in fighting the best don't always win this isn't boxing we don't have a 10 second count uh, you screw up you, you mess up for one second and uh, that's the end of it um, so i fucked up it's not gonna happen again and then after you know you beat on him on the ground and he ended up tapping the strikes it looked like you had like something to say you were looking at him on the way walking away after uh, getting your hand raised or after the win did you what did you have to say to him after uh, I, was, I didn't say shit I didn't say a damn thing, but this guy coming at me, just trying to belittle me and talk me down like I'm like, like I haven't done anything. I don't have a chin. I can't box. Motherfucker, shut up. When, when all was said and done, could you feel the difference uh, of, of having that full camp in Florida with those guys? Could you feel that tonight? It wasn't even a full camp. Man. I, uh, I rushed in. I had a lot of, a lot of things that, that, that took me away and had some weird, weird things in camp. So I, I'd like to really just kind of get my body in shape and and go into a little smoother. You know, I had a lot of things that, with my legs and, and different things I had to work around my back and so it's weird spasms. So um, I didn't get the best training camp in. <laughs> I was a little worried. You're, you're, you're getting old now, man. I feel good. I feel good. Athletically, I, I can still throw a double kick, so I'm all right. I know you obviously want a shot at this being, you know, for revenge, but you were obviously calling GSP out too, so... I'm not calling GSP out. Don't get it wrong. Don't get it, don't get Basically, it straight. Basically, the question is, do you think he has GSP a chance? to get the fuck out of this irrelevant fight. Do you think he has on. any chance to beat Bisping? I don't think he has any chance, no. I, I really don't. Even with I, the I wrestling? Mean, I'm just telling you the straight truth, GSP is going to get crushed. His game plan will not work against Bisping. As much as I don't like him, the other guy... He's gonna lose, he, you know. The takedowns, Bisping's gonna scramble. He's gonna get up. The size is gonna wear on him. He's gonna outbox him. He's gonna, he's gonna put, probably put him away in the later rounds. And if, that's that's the fight. It's gonna happen. You know, I'll bet the house on it. I will, I'll even fucking bet on it. And if GSP were to win, you would want that fight though. GSP, is, if he wins somehow, some way, because anything could happen in this sport, maybe. But he ain't gonna fucking fight any of us. He's gonna fucking. There's no way he fights any of us. That's why. That's the stupidest thing about this fight. Do you think he pulls out? <laughs> well, you can say it. I'm, hey, I, I, I'm trying to inspire him in every way possible. <laughs> Get the fuck out. This is my fight, and uh, I'll be ready. So you'll be at the garden come uh, May either, either way? I'll, do, I'll be ready. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not taking any time off. I'm training. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm ready to get back in. I'm tired of wasting time. Uh, that, that, that time off is... Uh, it's... it's, uh, it's the time off has, has made me reflect on it and know what I want and what I want to do and I have a lot left to accomplish in the sport and uh, I'm here to fucking make it happen.